this is this is a, a story to tell the truth about my son Sharif Floyd, who which who played for the Florida Gators. Um, he's been spreading spreading tremendous lies about me. I'm the man that's that was in that article, um, the inquiry where he talked about the man that he he lived with for 16 years before he realized that he wasn't his father and that who abused him and that when he see him on he see pictures of him on the football field he he, he thinks of the water boy. Now, I just want to give a correct story, the true story. My son never grew up in North Philly, poor, never knew where his next meal was going to come from, or anything like that. Um, I took care of my son from day one when he was born. I was there all the way up until he was almost 18, three months before his 18th birthday when he decided that he wanted to leave. Um, my son had a great life. As you can see, if you go to um, Sharif Floyd the Fraud, Dot org, you will see tremendous amount of uh, pictures that I posted up there. Three albums of them that will, I mean, will tell the whole truth because you know pictures are a thousand words. So therefore, just go on that, that website and you'll see the true, the true life of Sharif Floyd. And let me start from the beginning. I got a little beside myself. My son Sharif was born um, March the twenty eighth, nineteen ninety one. Not ninety two like the papers say. Um, Sharif was born at Temple University. Me and his mother, Tanya Scott, was there when he was born. Um, Sharif lived with me majority of, of his life. Uh, as Sharif was growing up, Sharif had many birthday parties. He had um, Easter parties, everything that you can imagine a little boy could have. He had many Christmas. Once again, if you go to the webpage, you'll see all these things. Now, at Hart Middle School, uh, he wanted to play basketball. I told him how to play basketball. He was on the basketball team. I even assist as an assistant coach. On the basketball team. From there, Sharif started to grow bigger and bigger. So, you know, we decided to take another avenue. So, um, he wanted to learn how to play football. So, I started teaching him how to play football, tossing the ball, and everything. And some of the coaches at Harden Middle School, they took interest in him. And then from there, we uh, managed to get into George Washington High School, which um, he started there in his junior year. Um, he started varsity in, in, his, in his sophomore year. And the coaches, everybody knew me at, at George Washington. So as he attended George Washington High School, as he got more popular and better playing football, this is where the, the first problems start beginning. You know, any time that my son um, got in trouble at school, whatever, I would punish him, you know, because to me, he was my son, and I wanted him to be a young and productive man in this society. Um, anytime a coach would ask me, can he punish him and make him do extra laps, I looked at the, looked at the coach like, what is wrong with you? And then um, one, I, I can remember one time I put him on punishment, and I took his phone. And the counselor, she going to go buy him another phone. So, yes, I, we, we had a problem, and that's when it all just started going downhill between me and his father and son relationship. Sharif didn't have to do anything. I even got him a job when he was um, 16. He worked at Checkers on Roosevelt Boulevard um, to teach him the, the, the responsibility of going to school and working. Sharif didn't have to do anything. All he had to do was make sure that this was done his chores. Sharif had a whole apartment down in, in the basement of our home. Sharif also had a car when he was 15, which I still got his permit when he first took it because he was so happy. Even when he was in junior um, George Washington High School, he tore his ACL. I'm the one that carried him back and forth to the doctors on my back. And as you can see, if you compare me with him, he's a huge boy. And for me to carry him back and forth, it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was tedious. So when I first started hearing the rumors that he grew up in North Philly without a father, this and that, I mean, I was very hurt because uh, I never expect that from my son, which I still love today. I love him with all my heart, you know, and um, even though I wasn't his biological father, which he found out when he was almost 18, when I found out when he was six, I should have told him, but I didn't because I didn't want to hurt his feelings. But when he was six, I could have walked away, but I didn't. And the judge gave me custody of him. And, you know, and still to this day, regardless of all the, the, the lies he's spreading and, and, and the fame in my name, I still love him to death. Um, I just want him to stop all these lies. You know, um, he's, he's hurting his grandmother, which is my mother, because she loved him. And he put an article in there about her that wasn't nice. As I reached out to the coach, and other officials in the in that school district, I got no results. Everyone act like they didn't know me, and they have been 
all of them came to my house. The coach been to my house. The the counselor came to my house. Um, she even bought brownies. And as she continued to, to tell these untruths, they they all concealed him because they figured he was going to be an a, a NFL draft pick, which he is today. And as far as my neighborhood, they know everything was they was lies because everyone knows my family, and they know everything he said was it was non truths. And you know they they're upset too with him. And um, you know he he even has brothers and sisters that he won't even mention in his in in, in his statements when he do news news press and uh, Sports Illustrated. He has four sisters and an older brother named Anthony Floyd Jr. that he never mentioned. So I, I don't know what his problem is. Back to George Washington High School. Um, I attended many banquets that they had when they won the public league. I bought him a, a jacket, which you can see on the website. And also I bought him a, 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 a championship ring. I bought him and, and mine. So we both had one. Um, also, he was never abused. That, that was never true. I never, I never beat my son or whatever he may think was abuse. I never did that. Um, we attended many vacations. Uh, I used to always take him camp him, camping. He loved fishing, um, mountain trips. We uh, stayed on the lakes, written boats. Um, anything you name it, that young man had it. So why he's telling these untruths, I, I, I don't know. But I just hope some, someday he can reach deep down in himself and just come to me and apologize as a man or just call me up and say, Dad, I made a mistake. Um, you know, do you forgive me? And right here and now, I'll tell you on, on, on this, this, this clip here, I would forgive him because I still love him. He's my son.